Good afternoon. Welcome to TTX Talk, episode three. I'm Nate Petrie, VP of Sales. Uh, this is Aaron Clark, Technical Account Manager. Thanks for joining. Oh, thanks for having me, again, Nate. Yeah. So in the past, we've talked about omnichannel and how that relates to our our business, and we're we're much more than just a voice company. Um, and in call centers, things have changed, right? And it's all channels that are important to uh, customer engagement. So today we're going to focus on two of those channels, um, and the first one is email. So what's the struggle that companies are having with email and how can Omnichannel help alleviate that? It all centers around organizations that uh, receive inbound communication through email to something like a, uh, you know, a group mailbox or a shared inbox. And so that's one of the biggest hurdles uh, that companies are having a difficult time with getting over is how do we take how do we take that inbound email and and organize it in a way that can be automated uh, that gives visibility to uh, the users or agents that need access to that mailbox. So a lot a lot of organizations are literally just creating a, a shared inbox. Uh, all this email is coming inbound to that shared in- inbox, and then you've got agents or users that are that are, all have visibility to that same inbox, and so. You run into issues like how uh, how do I know what email has been viewed? Um, how do I know who that's assigned to? Uh, some organizations go through a lot of um, pretty complex processes or workflows to organize that with uh, creating different sub uh, uh, subfolders within that inbox. You know, one per agent or one per status of where that email sits. And then on the other side is once once we've actually responded to that email, how do we know um, that it's been responded to? How do we know that um, uh, the quality of that response? There's no there's no visibility that supervisors have. When we think about bringing that into an omni-channel environment, uh, what we can do is treat it very similar to how we would treat an inbound an inbound phone call where we can we can take and apply a set of rules. So it could be something as simple as defining a group of agents that are responsible to handle those emails. Um, we can define how in that group of agents we want to route, which, which agent do we prefer to, uh, to answer that email. And so now we can apply some rules and, and um, categories and even skills to be able to best handle those emails and let the system essentially route. Uh, we can weight that, you know, so if, if there are a lot of calls in queue, maybe we want to hold back on the email. Uh, in slower periods, we have that email start funneling into that group. And then on the back side of that, with, with visibility, with reporting, with analytics, the, the same type of it's reporting. All about the analytics. It's all about the analytics, and it's, it's no different. If you have the right tool set, it's no different uh, reporting on email than it would be reporting on, on inbound phone calls. And in an omni, in a true omni-channel environment, not only can we do reporting on that, uh, but we've got quality control where we can actually go in and see those interactions that agents are having through email and see those responses. If I, you know, Nate, if you get an email and you, you respond to it and then, you know, somebody, that cu- same customer sends another email later on in the day, that might not go back to you. I could have it go back to you, but maybe it comes to me and, and I would be able to see your response to, to, uh, to that customer. So there's a lot more visibility when it comes to that. And we see it all the time. People are struggling with email. So yeah. if you're struggling with email and how that can be an effective channel for your customer engagements, we'd, we'd love to have that conversation with you. The other channel that's really important, um, uh, along with voice and, and email and, and other social media, is uh, chat. So people are struggling with that in a different way than email. They're, email is, is, is in, in, in the business model today. Yeah. But where, where does chat, what, what, is, what are people doing with chat and what's the place for chat? Yeah, that's, that's a more difficult one. Um, you know, some companies don't have it at all. And so they're trying to figure out what, what can we do with, with chat? Should we be considering chat? Uh, if, if, if you don't have chat right now embedded on your website, I would highly encourage you to consider doing that because let's face it, in today's society, it's, it's a digital communication age. You know, the, people are still gonna make phone calls, but considering things- Quicker response. Quicker response. If I have a quick question, I, you know, I, being able to just jump on a website and, and, and do, a, do a chat is, is highly beneficial. Uh, and we're not saying, you know, that you have to move everything to chat. Uh, there are certain there are certain requests and issues that might come in that are are better suited for the phone. 
But what we can start looking at is those, those simple, quick, mundane tasks that really clog up the queue, the phone queue, and start moving those to chat. And, and chat, you know, if you, if you train up agents the right way and, and they become skilled enough, they can handle multiple chats at the same time. They, can, they could even be handling a chat while they're talking to somebody on the phone. And what that does is starts clearing that phone queue and it allows those more complex, uh, lengthier phone conversations to be had. The organizations that have chat that are already doing that, a lot of them are not doing it in an omni-channel environment. They have their own third-party chat app, which is fine, um, but it, it creates this, this um, difficult to manage experience for end users, for the agents, where they're going into their phone application to handle phone calls, then they're jumping over into another application to handle chat, uh, to another application to handle email. And so when we bring chat and email and phone all into that, into one routing engine, one omni-channel environment, it's just one single pane of glass that agents can log into and handle all of those calls. So if you have chat, right, if you already are engaged, uh, if your website is already um, engaged with website chat, we're not saying you got to get rid of whatever chat application you're using. You can still use that in an omnichannel environment. You just connect it to that platform, allow it to do the routing, uh, assuming that it's got proper APIs and, and capabilities to do that. Um, but bring it all into to one engine and, and have a much more simplified experience, both from the customer standpoint, but also internally with agents. Yeah, and, and like everything, not all chats are needed to be built the same or or have the same functionality. But we have the experience here at TTX to talk through that and our, our range of customers that are doing it differently. It might be a co-browsing feature. It might be AI that's needed into it. It might be simple agent assist. But the whole idea is that chat is a very good form for a lot of companies uh, as an omni-channel customer engagement tool. Yeah. And we'd love to have those conversations with folks. Yeah. Great, well thanks Aaron for joining us today. Thanks everyone for watching and see you next time.